Hello, this is Joshua, November 5, Foxtrot Yankee. Uh, today I've got the Elecraft KH-1 loadout kit. So I uh, really enjoy this radio, uh, but I've also had a lot of fun putting together this kit. So um, this case is a Pelican M40 micro case. So that was a recommendation from uh, Thomas K4SWL. And uh, one of the things he noticed is the whip doesn't fit in here unless you put it in diagonally. Um, so I wasn't real happy with that, um, so I came up with a workaround, but let me show you um, really what all I've got in this kit. So recommendation from, uh, I think someone on the groups I owe in, uh, from Elecraft recommended putting a desiccant pack in here just because this is a sealed watertight case. So you take this thing out and get a little bit of moisture in it. That moisture is not going to have anywhere to go. So throwing a desiccant in there is a great idea. Um, I have got a ton of those just from uh, filaments for uh, 3D printing. So I grabbed one of those, threw it in the bag, and I think that's going to be a good idea. Um, so this is the Elecraft KH1, uh, excuse me, AX1 uh, 40 meter add-on coil. And it actually fits in just right. And I did have to loosen the top nut and take that uh, stud in just a hair. Um, and I believe, um, what you still need to be careful of is just make sure there's enough that you can uh, get the whip connected. So I've got 40 meter capability. And then that also requires the longer 33 foot counterpoise wire, uh, which fits in there nicely. Um, you certainly could opt for not adding this um, I just like the fact that it was able to fit, and I've had a couple activations now with the Elecraft KH-1 on 40 meters uh, with this whip. And so uh, I'm happy to be able to throw that in the, in the case and keep that as part of the kit. So really the KH-1 in and of itself is a very complete unit altogether. Um, and so really this video is more about what, the way I packed it out in this waterproof case. Um, that's also hard in order to uh, throw it in my everyday backpack carry and not have to worry too much about it. Uh, it can be sent down there in the bottom without much concern. Um, so one of the things I mentioned was uh, Thomas uh, had mentioned that the uh, whip does not fit vertical in the correct position. And so what I did, and, he, and he's absolutely right, it does not fit um, correctly in that position. So what I did was I used a heat gun and a good bit of patience. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this real well in the video. Um, but what I did was I put that antenna in there at just a bit of an angle. And then what it was doing is it was catching on the bottom. So just kind of pushed it up against that to give it a bit of some force uh, while I heated the outside of it with a, with a hot, air, uh, hot air gun. Um, and it, it did take some time. So I don't know, maybe 20, I probably worked with this for 20 minutes because I don't want to put too much force on it. I didn't want to collapse the whip inside of itself, which I don't know if that would actually happen. Um, but what I ended up doing was I got it to sit down in there uh, correctly, uh, and although it was really tight, and then I continued to warm that up, and then it got a bit looser, looser, and then I actually stuck, um, I just took a sticky note and folded it over several times and uh, put it back in there to give it a little bit extra height and continue to work it and heat it. And so I was able to get that to balloon out and so now it fits just right. So anyway, enough of that. Um, really the KH-1 being a complete kit, it's just a matter of what you uh, load it out in. So I've got the headphones wrapped around and so I can take those off. And I did add a right angle adapter um, so that I can keep it underneath the logging tray. Um, and then you've got the new whip clips, which I just got a few days ago. So those have been great. I'm going to pull off the uh, counterpoise wire here. So if you're already familiar with this, this is not going to be new information, but for those of you who are not, um, what you have with the Yellowcraft KH-1 is your log. You've got a pen here. Um, this has an internal uh, automatic antenna tuner inside. And it has a uh, whip here, so this is a four-foot whip, which just pops right off of there. That gets plugged in here. And then you can work uh, 20, 17, or 15 with that whip. And then you can also work uh, 80 and 40 with a wire. Uh, or you can use the add-on um, coil to run in the 20 meter position on 40 meters. And internal battery, and then it's got a key down at the bottom. So this really, in, in, a, in, a, in your hand, is a complete station. Um, and I just, this has been fantastic. I've been having so much 
uh, so much fun operating with this radio. So I definitely highly recommend it. It's a unique radio, no doubt. Um, and sure, it's not for everybody, but if you're uh, if you're a field um, CW operator, you do a lot of soda CW. Um, this is just a fantastic kit. Um, I haven't done any soda with this yet with nice elevation. Um, I look forward to doing that, um, but I think it's going to be excellent for that that purpose. So there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and pack this up while I'm talking. Um, the other thing I did with this case was I added a bit of um, open cell, really loose, uh, light density foam. And that was really just, the idea was to keep the radio positioned correctly inside of the case. Um, but once that, what I found was I've got this whip, you know, still fairly tight inside here. And so that kind of helps keep it positioned. Um, but like, uh, like what Thomas has done is you can take that whip off and you can lay it on horizontal, or uh, I guess at a bit of an angle, and it'll fit in there that way as well. So whatever works out for you. Um, I think I had my headphones. Definitely have to pack it just right because there's no extra space here. But I got the actual earbuds at the very top. And then I had the 33 foot counterpoise. So the other counterpoise is I think 13 feet for 20 meters, 17, 15. And I got the clip sitting on top and my desiccant which I think I'll put, yeah, I think I had it down there at the bottom. So that's it. Waterproof, I believe it floats. Somebody asked me about that. I wasn't quite ready to dunk this in water, um, but it is a sealed case, so that shouldn't be any problem. And I, there's enough, should be enough buoyancy in there, it would float. Don't take my word for it. I just haven't tried it yet. But there, there you have it. That is the Elecraft KH1 in a Pelican M40 micro case. Thanks so much for watching. This is Joshua, November 5, Foxtrot Yankee, 7-3.